Did you know the candy choices you make this Halloween could actually have an impact on wildlife? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but there's a ball constrictor moving. It's moving. I know, um, it's so beautiful. No, it's not beautiful. It's a boa constrictor. She's <laughs> delightful. This is Regina Smith. She's from Woodland Park Zoo. This is Steve getting scared. And we also have a Nahi. Yes. That's the boa's name, Yeah, right? she's a she's common boa constrictor, and she's almost 10 years old now. <laughs> 10 years old? Yeah. Okay, how long do, what's the longevity In of human it? care, they can live into their 30s, maybe longer. Okay. So she's still a young lady. Yes. Now, um, you get this whole interview, we... Michelle. You get the whole <laughs> okay. thing. Well, just... let's start with the Halloween candy because <laughs> this is really interesting to me. How can the choices we make it have an impact on wildlife? Right. So, a lot of candies um, contain palm oil, which is a vegetable oil. And we're urging everyone to choose candies from companies that use sustainable palm oil because that helps animals and all sorts of different forests like orangutans and uh, tigers and gorillas have healthy forests. Okay. How do we know, I guess? I mean, do you have any recommendations? Yes, we've, uh, no. Woodland Park Zoo's made it easy for everyone. So if you go to zoo.org slash palm oil, you'll be able to see, we have a whole list of companies that uh, use sustainable palm oil in their candies. So they're helping animals in the wild by their choices. Why are you moving closer choices. to it, Michelle? Well, you said not to be in her face, right? So I just want Right, wanna... yeah, so she's just exploring. She's using that tongue, flicking it out, and smelling what's in the studio right now. Hmm. I think she's, Cam, you want to come in? <coughs> yeah, sure, Cam, Cam is like close. really I'm excited about it. Yeah. So she is, she's she's a professional. So she's been an yeah. ambassador animal at Woodland Park Zoo for about four or five years now. So she's great. She's one of the animals that comes out at events like Pumpkin Bash coming up. Uh, so that everyone has a chance to see her. A lot of people might have fears of snakes, but Anahi is a great ambassador because she helps people sort of overcome that because yeah. They're just really cool animals. Mm -hmm. Tell us and about like Pumpkin warmth. Bash. Yeah, okay. Pumpkin Bash is coming up October 26th and 27th. It's going to be a really fun-filled weekend where uh, kids can go trick-or-treating around the zoo. And also, animals will be able to interact with pumpkins and gobble or smash. Nothing is better than seeing a hippopotamus <laughs> smash and eat a pumpkin. So Hi. it's a really a lot of fun. Boomasium, tra Zoomasium transforms into Boomasium for... Uh, just gonna stay away from her face. Okay. Yep, so I'll just, yeah, okay. perfect. Exactly. And it's uh, not, what is it because she just doesn't, it's not her favorite, right? It's not right? her favorite. So she's not like strangers coming out. up and touching your face or being near your face. It just makes you a little uncomfortable. But if she comes up to me, <laughs> I'm staying there's always, there's always, always a rule breaker. <laughs> oh, I'm st I'm she's in general, right? she is a delightful yeah. snake. Cam, she's Cam's a really kind good of the girl. same way, though, if you get in her face. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> very true. Actually, very true. I knew I had something in common. And I felt she's a just kinship. settled into her tree, so she's really, really Hi. comfortable right now, like yeah. all of our ambassador animals when they come out to different events at Woodland Park Zoo. I love, how many ambassador animals do you have? We have about 80 different animals. Um, a lot of them are reptiles. Reptiles are amazing. And then we have lots of birds and mammals as well. I think I startled her because I touched her and she went <laughs> like this. Yeah. What about her markings? Because they are so different. They you know, are. If you look They're at beautiful. This so they spend a lot of time on the ground. They like also love to be in the water. So the patterns that common boa constrictors have help them blend in with leaf litter or rocks on the ground. So uh, if she's sort of settled in and not really moving like she is right now, that would be a great way to camouflage waiting for a prey item to come so that she could have a dinner. Like Cam's oh, finger. Well, I mean, do you think she, is she camouf is she camouflaging right now? For, she's is she afraid of us? She's really she... comfortable. So Anaki okay. tends to wiggle a little bit when she first starts a program, and then she tends to settle in nicely and just hang out because she's just really comfortable. It's Has just been around people her whole life. Yes. So. Yeah. This is nothing, nothing new She's for her. She's really amazing. Isn't I she love beautiful? Touching her, I never no. thought I would. You know, I, I wouldn't, didn't know how I would respond. But right, man, and these it's snakes really are cool. snakes are wonderful. So they just want to hang out and they want to find their dinner. Uh, they want to avoid humans. So it won't bother if there's too many people around, oh, no, right? She's oh, good. Okay. She's good. But but for pets, you really have to know they are they live 30 plus years. Yeah, exotic so. animals as pets are really difficult. We always love to guide people toward more domesticated animals like cats and dogs or goldfish, things like that that are a little bit easier and a little bit more custom. To live and you with might people. not be comfortable feeding your pet a rat. 
on a regular Here basis. Yeah. <laughs> your face, by the way. Just want to say. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you this morning. Oh, it's all Thank good. you so I'm much. Just staying so put. <laughs> I'm just staying put. We're going to okay. be right back. Um, it's getting closer. <laughs> it's like saying, kissing it's her now. Fine. I'll see you after She's looking for warmth. It's touching your hair with its tongue. It's all good.